Hi, I'm Kurt. And I'm Bart, and we're the costume designers on The Ghost in the Shell. I think the overall style started with Rupert, who's super visual. I think for actors, it's such a big part of what they're doing. You know, they always say when they step into the wardrobe, it finally kind of, they become a character. From the very beginning, we wanted to do something that was both honoring the original source material, but also super distinctive and memorable. One of our key costumes was the geishas. We wanted them to feel traditional, but we also wanted to kind of use untraditional materials. One of the really traditional elements of a kimono and what geishas wear is their obi, their belt. We wanted to take the traditional obi methodology, but incorporate our own motif on it, which was like this circuitry and kind of following the same kind of panels that are in the face. There was a lot of design talking about whether this would be like a silicone mask or whether it was going to be a hard mask. And we ended up doing a hard mask and hard hair, which I think was really, really beautiful in the end. Every time you shoot with the geisha, they're entombed in hard-shelled masks, which have fans in the hair pieces and vents at the back. It's really a terrifying character. So did you like that video? Well, I have some interesting movie extras facts for you. Matte paintings were extremely popular before the CGI era. These are actual projections or paintings placed behind foreground objects to trick audiences into believing the actors were in a different location. Examples include the Statue of Liberty jutting out from the sand in Planet of the Apes from 1968 and the Emerald City awaiting Dorothy at the end of the Yellow Brick Road in The Wizard of Oz from 1939. Subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.